Welcome to Moina Bass Fishes, and we're going to talk about the cancellation of day two of the MLF Tackle Warehouse Pro Circuit Tournament on Sam Rayburn. All right, so why did they cancel it? They canceled it because it was really windy today. Um, and why and why is that a big deal? Well, it's a safety concern. They, uh, you know, high wind in itself is not good, but if if you got warm water temperatures, it's not that big of a deal. But if you got cold water temperatures, which we have here, we got water temperatures in the low 50s. Um, if something were to happen where people end up in the water because of you know driving through big waves and somebody and something happens where the boat flips over or something in the big waves, and all of a sudden you get people in the water in 50 low 50 degree water, hypothermia sets in really quick. So the tournament staff, tournament director here, they erred on the side of caution uh, to um, basically just to, to, to be, to, they want to run a safe tournament. That's, uh, that's like high priority is to run a safe tournament because the things have happened in the past. Lake Okeechobee, four or five years ago, something happened where a guy did lose his life. Uh, was the water temperatures were in the high 50s in that tournament, but it was really windy, big north wind like what we had here today, and something happened sadly, and uh, they, I'm sure they'd never want to have to see that again. Nobody does, so they aired on the side of caution. I can understand that these people got to sleep at night, and if something was to happen, I mean it's. It's how do you, I mean you got to live with it the rest of your life, knowing you know certain decisions you made cost people dearly. On the other hand, from the pros' point of view, I feel like I mean I would have loved to fish today. I feel like I could easily drive in this kind of weather. I've done it many times. So driving the boats in a big waves is no is not a big deal to me. And it really, I feel like it shouldn't be for anybody in this field of fishermen. I mean, this is the top level of tournaments, and you really should, uh, these people know how to drive. They've been on water like this. They know how to drive in water like this. Um, but there, there is, how, even, with all, even with all of our experience, there is the risk. So you just, I mean, maybe it's, it's not as high of a risk as a... Uh, you know, if we had 150 newbies out here driving in these waves, but there is a little bit of a risk there, even though we all have experience. But I still feel like the lake wasn't as rough as it could be. Um, it was, sure, yes, it was windy today. However, it wasn't like ungodly windy. There were white caps, yes, but it was navigable, manageable. We could have done it. I mean, I'm, that's that's the competitor in me speaking, and that's that's the voice I'm putting out there. So, but I, at the same time, I'm not gonna fault their decision to cancel because these people that make these decisions, they gotta sleep at night. If there were any consequences that were to happen, and some, they'd still have to sleep. They gotta sleep at night. So. I can't can't argue with the decision. So, what? Uh, so how? Enough of that. So basically, what is the format they're going to do now? This is where I got an opinion. They are turning this into a three-day tournament instead of four days. I would have liked to keep the four-day format, and it would have it would have meant having to add another day's competition on Monday when everybody was planned to be out of here. But really, we're adding, the only people that are having to stay are the FLW or MLF crew and the cameras and 10 anglers. So maybe, maybe they couldn't, uh, I don't know, logistically, I know it's challenging, um, and I don't know what their budgets are. They, I guess pay, they would have to pay all those camera people on another day's work. And who knows what else. Logistically, it was challenging. I just, it, it, I would like to keep the four-day format. 
that's just my opinion. So, so what they are doing, okay, I better tell you what they are doing. It's a three-day format, so everybody fished the first day already. That's done. So everybody's going to fish tomorrow. And then this, this third step is what they're eliminating, which is the top 50 days. So, and then the fourth step they're keeping, which is the top 10 days. So what they're doing is full field fish is on day one. The full field fish is on the next day. And then they go right from the full field to top 10 instead of full field, top 50, then top 10. So we just eliminated that top 50 day out of there. So that's what they're doing there. And competitively, how does that change things? It just makes it more difficult for a big comeback from somebody. You take one day's fishing out of there and the come, you know, you just can't come back as easily. So for instance, um, let's say, I, I mean, I, I, I'm sitting in ninth place right now. And if I had all those days, if I had the full tournament to fish, you know, I could, I figure I got to bring in 14 pounds tomorrow to make a 50th place showing. So 14, 15 pounds is very doable out here. Then I can get up to the 40th, 50th range. And then from there, catch a really big bag to make it into the top 10. And then from there, who knows? This lake's got some incredible um, potential. But now for me to go straight from 90th to 10th or better, that's very challenging. But like I said, this lake has incredible potential, so it's it's not impossible, but it would require the biggest catch of my life, which incidentally, the biggest catch of my life is 25.05 pounds on Lake Minnetonka in the 1995 Don Shelby U.S. Invitational many years ago. It's <laughs> many years ago. So I'm surprised I haven't beat that. But anyways, that's an aside. So um, anyways... I guess that's over. That's all I got to say about it. So, over.